I've been using JSM and ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth modules for quite a long time in different types of Arduino based and IoT related projects. In my previous tutorial, I used the same JSM 7900A module with the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. I will provide a link in the description if you want to watch this tutorial. In this episode, you will learn how to use ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module with GSM SIM 900A module. ESP32 and GSM module together can be used in different advanced level projects. The ESP32 power supply PCB board used in this video is sponsored by the PCBA company. PCBA is quite professional in the field of PCB manufacturing. You can try their services at extremely low prices. Only $5 for 10 PCBs and $30 in total for 20 PCBs assembly. Besides this, the new members also get a $5 bonus. The Gerber files of the PCB board used in this project can be downloaded from the PCBWay official website. You can find a link in the description. The main advantage of using the ESP32 with GSM module is that if you have the internet connection and the ESP32 module is connected with the Wi-Fi, then you can monitor the sensor data in real time from anywhere around the world using the Blink application or any other IoT platform and you will also be able to receive the alert messages via GSM network. There are situations when the internet is not available. In a situation like this, you won't be able to monitor the data in real time. But you will get the alert messages via GSM network each time the sensor crosses a predefined value. For the demonstration purposes, I have connected a variable resistor with the ESP32 module. You can use any type of analog and digital sensors. In this tutorial, we will cover number one, complete circuit diagram explanation. Number two, blink application designing. Number three, code explanation. And finally, number four, testing. Without any further delay, let's get started. Components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This is the JSM 7900A module. The first thing that you will notice about this JSM module is that it has no onboard voltage regulator. So be very careful while applying the voltage. Because voltage is greater than 5 volts can easily damage this module. Ideal voltage for this GSM module is 4.7 volts, but you can easily power up this GSM 900A module using a 5 volt adopter. If you don't have a 5 volt adopter, then you can make your own power supply using LM3170 adjustable variable voltage regulator. I have a very detailed tutorial on LM3170. There are few things that I really like about this GSM 7900A module which are number one, this is the cheapest GSM module available on the market. Number two, another cool thing is it can be easily interfaced with 5 volt supported controller boards like Arduino Uno, Arduino Mega, Arduino Nano etc. and also with 3.3 volts controller boards like Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module and ESP32 etc. This is where we connect the external 5 volt regulated power supply. It has a total of 9 male headers. These 3 male headers are not connected. Pin number 1 and pin number 2 are the 5 volts and ground pins which I will leave unconnected as I will use an external power supply. Pin number 3 is the 5 volt DXD. Pin number 4 is the 5 volt RXD. Pin number 5 is the 3.3 volt DXD. And pin number 6 is the 3.3 volt RXD. Let's first of all start with the 5 volt regulated power supply, which is used to power up the ESP32 module. This power supply is based on the famous LM7805 voltage regulator. 
J1 is the female power jack and this is where we connect a 12 volt adopter battery or a solar panel. Two 470 microfarad decoupling capacitors are connected at the input and output sides of the voltage regulator. A 330 ohm resistor is connected in series with a 2.5 volt LED. This is a current limiting resistor. The output of the voltage regulator is connected with a VN pin of the ESP32 module and ground is connected with the ground. The GSM 900A module 5 volt RXD pin is connected with the ESP32 DX pin, while the ground pin of the GSM 900A module is connected with the ground pin of the ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module. As I explained earlier, the recommended voltage for this GSM module is 4.7 to 5 volts. While performing the experiments, I connected the 3.3 volt RXD pin of the GSM 900A module with the TX pin of the ESP32, but it didn't work. This was supposed to work because I used the same 3.3 volt pins with the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module and it worked perfectly. While in the case of ESP32 module, it failed. But when I connected the 5 volt RXD pin of the GSM module with the TX pin of the ESP32 module, it worked. The middle leg of the potentiometer or variable resistor is connected with the analog pin is 0 which is the GPIO pin 36 of the ESP32 module, while the other two legs are connected with 3.3 volt and ground pins of the ESP32 module. For the easy interfacing, I designed a PCB port for the ESP32 Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth module. This PCB is manufactured by the PCBA company. As you can see, the quality is really great. The silk screen is quite clear and the black solar mask looks amazing. I'm 100% satisfied with their work. The PCB designing and soldering is already explained in my previous tutorial. Finally, I connected everything as per the circuit diagram already explained. Now let's make the Blink application. Follow the same exact steps and enjoy the music. Before you start the programming, first of all, make sure that you download all the necessary libraries from our website electronicclinic.com. You can find a link in the description. A variable resistor is connected with the analog pin A0, which is the GPIO pin 36 on the ESP32 board. The rest of the instructions are exactly the same as used in my previous IoT based projects and GSM projects. I simply combined the two codes. The detailed explanation of this code is available on my website. I have already uploaded this program. Let's watch this project in action. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you like today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.